Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of What's Your Game Plan? Today, I'm gonna give you a quick start guide on how to start a catering supplies business online. Over the last decade, the catering supplies industry has become an important piece of the puzzle between manufacturers and the catering companies. Do you want to work with catering business owners, hotels, maybe some restaurants? If so, you can earn some really good money and make a difference by starting a catering supply business online. Let me break down the stats for you. There are over 200,000 catering companies in the United States. And globally, the catering supplies market is expected to hit $15 billion by 2025. And that means that there's a lot of room for you to become their number one supplier. Did you know that people are buying buffet equipment like this in bulk for as little as $20 and they resell these for 50 to 75? Catering suppliers are making really, really good profits. So where's your piece of the pie? There will always be catering business owners looking for reliable and affordable companies to buy all of their supplies from. And that's where you come in. So how do you get started? Let's jump right in. So there are two methods to start this kind of business. You're going to need to set it up as a dropship store where someone else is responsible for shipping the goods to your customers, or you can buy, store, and ship out your own inventory. Once you choose a method, you can now proceed to step one. If you have no idea how a catering supplies business operates or you're a first time business owner, I recommend getting a business plan from Fiverr. What they'll do is they'll create a custom business plan that outlines exactly how your business is supposed to work and what you should expect. So whether you choose the dropship method or to buy your own inventory, the supplier research process is still the same. If you want to get started right away and you don't have a lot of money to buy inventory, you'll want to head over to Google and type in these words, drop ship catering supplies. This will give you access to thousands of products to sell in your online store right away without actually needing to buy any of them. If you do have some money and you want to manage your own inventory and keep products in your own warehouse to ship, just Google the words, wholesale catering supplies, or you can even Google wholesale catering equipment. And as you can see, the listings will actually change. And from here, you can find a company to buy in bulk from. Now on to the fun part. Once you've got all that sorted, it's time to officially register your business. You won't be able to buy wholesale catering supplies or even work with a dropship supplier until you complete this step. You'll need to register and apply for a federal EIN number and form an LLC or a corporation. And depending on what state you're in, you'll likely also need a reseller or a retail merchant certificate as well. And this is going to allow you to buy products tax free. I recommend using my corporation as they do have a wide variety of packages to choose from, but their most basic package will actually get you started right away. Now, since you're going to be getting all of this money, you're going to need somewhere to put it. And it's pretty easy to open a business bank account, but they won't actually get you set up without having that legal incorporation paperwork and the EIN number that I just spoke about. You can work with a local bank that you're already using, or you can just choose a new one. And if you haven't heard of Square, they also have a business banking department who can get you set up right away with a business checking account. It's online and it's free. So the next step is to buy web hosting. You can actually choose any provider that you're familiar with 
and I know that there's a lot of them out there, but I always recommend choosing Bluehost because they're the most reliable for e-commerce stores. What you'll get is a free domain name, a free SSL certificate, and access to 24 seven tech support. So you really can't beat it. So once you pay for the plan with Bluehost, they'll send you your login credentials. You wanna save that information and then deliver it to the web designer in the next step. So if you don't already know about Fiverr, it's a company that sells affordable web development and marketing services that get done really, really quick. All you wanna do is type in what you want in the search bar and it will reveal tons of people who are willing to help you get a website set up in less than three days. I would highly recommend that you make a list of catering supply websites that you really like and then send those to the website designer to get a quote. Once you choose the person that you want to work with, go ahead and give them the Bluehost details and communicate your vision and your plans for the new website. So while they're working on your new website, you're going to need to activate a merchant account for your customers to actually pay you through. Many businesses use PayPal, Square, or even Stripe. Again, I personally like Square. They make it super easy for me to accept payments online, via email, my website, or even over the phone. And the account with Square is absolutely free. So once you sign up, give these details to the website designer to complete the payment integration process. Finally, you'll need to start spreading the word about your business. And a good place to start is to get your logo, your business cards, and your online marketing materials created. And for this, I've got three resources for you. You can choose what fits your budget and what fits your timeline. For a catering business branding, I recommend using 99designs because the process is really quick and they'll actually give you what you want. There's another company that's called Envato. They have tons of graphics and flyers for each and every single kind of business on demand. And then there's Canva Pro, which is a graphic design tool for beginners. It also comes with a ton of templates so you can create your own logos and all of your own marketing materials on the go. Okay, so now that you're all set up, how will you actually make money? Here's what you need to know in order to take a check to the bank. Congratulations, you now own a catering supplies store. You can choose from a variety of items to sell. The most popular are food bar and buffet equipment, tea and coffee brewer equipment, food trays, and portable bars. And to bring in some extra cash, you can also start selling supplies like cooling tubs, serveware, flatware, and even storage containers. Now I know what you're probably wondering, what's the price tag on this baby? Startup costs for this kind of business using the drop shipping method usually starts anywhere from $700 to $2,000 on average. But if you're planning to fund your own inventory, please be prepared to drop the big bucks. If you like this business idea and you wanna know where to get all the products from at the discounted price, the link to the vendor list is at the bottom of this video. I'm also giving away my new marketing strategy book series for free. If you want it, just go to my website, enter in your email address, and I'll send it to you right away. If you really like this video or you know someone who needs to see this today, tag a friend, hit like, and please give it a share. And until next time guys, take care.